Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 6 of S Rank Usume. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Hey, I forgot we were still here. <laughs> I wonder how this is going to go. <laughs> and she... <laughs> That's a threat. I know a threat when I see a threat. That is a threat. If you go against her, she's going to kill you. It's a big no-no. <laughs> I mean, he still got him. Just not in the way I thought he was going to. <laughs> yeah, pretending to slip. Yeah. <laughs> Look at them three. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hate to be him. <laughs> well, yeah. Hmm. My. Damn. Plus, <laughs> it was just a little fun.
No, you guys. You really do. Mm. Oh my god. And <laughs> Horse film. Uh-oh.
This is so pretty. We know that's a lie. Oh, so that's her. Oh, it's just her revenge story. Would have been funny if she, because she looks like Alia, but it would have been even funnier if she was played by Alia. You'd <laughs> be like, oh, okay. I mean, I would be scared too. Damn. Well, blame the little girl. Mm-hmm.
Already dead. And he's the only one left. Oh my god. He can't handle all of them. Even the maze is ready too. Even though you're scared, because I'd be scared too. I don't look good. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, I'm just guessing. No, you're not. Don't say that. Okay, because I got to fucking say it. She only knew how to defeat them because she sent them. That's also because of her.
Angie. <laughs> you can. <laughs> Exactly. Still thinking about that. See, that's the thing. We really don't know much about Anji. We know that as a child, you know, she was abandoned. And so, of course, she doesn't really remember much about her past pre-baby because she was a baby. She was tiny. And, you know... Baby brain. Like, I, do I remember Ish when I was a little teeny tiny small child in the hospital? Heck no. I don't think any of us really would. So, okay, I don't blame her being like, no, yeah, I'm me and such. But um, going to Charlotte and the way Homeboy has her, he's trying to make her like this false prophet. That, oh, okay, here's something bad that has come to this town. And only she is the only one who can, quote unquote, save the town and such. Which she's like, oh, hey, look, everyone. Look what I can do. The evil has been vanquished thanks to Solomon and stuff. So, and, and, and very suspicious. But at the same time, now that we know her backstory, that she's looking for revenge on her family. I do feel for her. But she's taking the initiative in the wrong way. She's, she associated herself with the wrong people. That's the biggest thing. And I do feel bad for her because there is probably going to be a big major consequence. I mean, because now everyone knows that homeboy did this, that he is the cause of it. But the worst thing is they have no evidence on him. So of course, I'm guessing in episode seven, we're going to, quote unquote, get that information to try to truly see, oh yeah, you're the one who clearly did this because there is something on you. There's a reason why you want to kill, like, the eldest sister of this family. But, gotta wait and see. But yeah, I feel bad for Angie, especially with her situation on that ending. Because, like, no, poor baby, like, I feel like now, even though she's saying, like, yeah, I'm me, I feel like she's questioning everything. So I also do feel like her dad, or she's going to ask her dad, like, what is up with me? Why I had this, like, moment while I was fighting, and I heard these voices say something to me and such, and now I'm questioning every little detail about myself. Like, am I truly this and such? And so maybe he possibly has some information for her i'm not really sure i mean this is only episode six and once again anything can truly happen but like i hope that it we get a good outcome for her i don't want it to be like oh here's something bad and then her father like immediately abandons her but because he loves her so much i don't perceive that happening no matter what he's always going to be there for her because at the end of the day that is his kid even with everything of what has happened between these two, of how these two were 
woven time for their destinies and such he will always be a father figure towards her and she will always be his daughter and so yeah yeah it was a good episode though very good episode still feel bad for charlotte hopefully she gets some good outcomes as well but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode six of s rank usme if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matcha Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today for episode 7. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.